Let's try another possibility. Non-horizontally launched projectiles have an upward velocity. We've all seen this type of motion when watching fireworks shoot high into the sky. In this example, the upward velocity and the outward velocity are equal, creating a 45 degree angle for the cannonball arc. The Y component represents up and down and the X axis represents left and right. At the start they are equal. At the top of the arc the Y value is zero. As the cannonball falls to the original level of the cannon, its speed increases to its original value of 60 meters per second. Yet the X value remains the same throughout the flight of the cannonball. Let's compare this example to the North Tower debris. In a natural collapse, debris should fall close to the side of the building. However, in the case of the North Tower, we see upward explosions of dust and smoke in a symmetrical pattern. From within the falling debris, we can see an explosive puff of cloud rising as another section is ejected in an arc roughly 600 feet or two football fields away from the tower. The dust clouds following the ejected debris are consistent with an explosive event whereas large chunks of concrete would normally result from a simple collapse. This would indicate that a powerful explosion must have ejected this heavy steel debris with equal upward and outward force to create this shape of projectile motion.